Those of us that live in Idaho can sometimes take its natural beauty for granted, but for out-of-state transplants, it can be a revelation. Tonight, I'll introduce you to a man who's moved to Sun Valley as a teen, fell in love with the outdoors, and never looked back. Living in Sun Valley, the outdoors are right out your backyard. You don't have to go anywhere for it. Growing up in the Los Angeles foothills, Andrew Dunning didn't know much about the outdoors. He was always an athlete, but he competed in swimming, an indoor sport. Then in his teens, he moved with his family to Sun Valley and discovered the call of the wild, immersing himself in camping, backpacking, skiing, mountain biking, and kayaking. It was just the, an alternate world compared to living in LA, which is this massive city. And like most people there weren't doing the kind of stuff that I dreamed of doing, which was all taking place in the mountains. While this wet spring might mean headaches for some homeowners in Blaine County, a surging Big Wood River has enthusiasts like Dunning salivating to hit the water. Being out there at those flows is just a totally different feel than being on a normal level of the river. You're just hearing the rocks rolling underneath you. There's full trees, like we were passing 20, 30 foot trees just floating in the river next to us. You're kind of like feeling the raw power of the river, you almost feel like you're in a liquid avalanche. But you can't kayak all the time. To pay for his activities, Dunning pursues his other passion, cooking. I kind of have a private chef business in Sun Valley with some clients who, you know, can use a, a personal chef just at their homes. And then I also work for a catering company. So we do events and weddings and stuff like that. Dunning lives by two sayings when he's adventuring in Idaho. If you rest, you rust. And if you can, you should. He's lived up to those mottos by making trips to Ecuador, Chile, Argentina, just to name a few, along with his travels across Idaho. Don't make excuses for stuff. If you think that you have the ability to do something, you definitely, you definitely do. Dunning plans to keep making adventure videos. If you'd like to see more of his work, we've included a link on our website. And if you'd like to learn how to kayak or any other activities that Dunning does, he also teaches his craft. But if you want lessons, you're going to have to act fast. He's already gearing up for his next trip to China. Dan Hawk joining us live with the exclusive story. Donna Michelle, since Boise State decided to drop its wrestling program, it has sent a shockwave through the community as fans and athletes have shown their support to hopefully change President Custer's mind and bring back the sport. First, it was UFC President Dana White who tweeted out on Monday to save the Boise State wrestling program. Today, I had the chance to catch up with former UFC women's champion Misha Tate and former Bronco wrestler and current UFC fighter Johnny Nunes. Both are in town to support bringing back the wrestling program. Found it really disturbing the way that Bob Custra, the president of Boise State, decided to just cut the program on a whim. You know, didn't offer any explanation, still hasn't offered any explanation. And, uh, you know, I just feel like the community here is left with a lot of questions and, and no answers. Tate isn't alone, as several hundred people were at a Save a BSU wrestling rally at the Idaho State Board of Education this past Saturday. Tate, who has nearly 800,000 followers on Twitter, says the fight to help bring the program back is just beginning. For me, I have a large social media following, and, and a lot of people really respect the fact that I was a successful female wrestler in high school, and I have something to say about this. And I reached out to Dana White, I reached out to Tito Ortiz, I reached out to Matt Hughes, I'm reaching out to Randy Couture. I'm trying to push everybody to have awareness of, of just how wrong and really disturbing this situation is. You know, I'm, I'm challenging uh, Kustra to come out and, and talk and don't hide behind, you know, closed doors. And, and I'm using my platform, my media platform, to reach as many people as possible. And I know Dana and, and all those guys are huge wrestling supporters. And, um, you know, they haven't really seen the fight yet. It's, you know, there's a lot more coming. The UFC and mixed martial arts have several former wrestlers from college compete in their circuit. And Tate says it is closing the door on the future of the sport when wrestling programs are cut from the collegiate level. Obviously, wrestling led me to MMA, and it's led many other fighters, very successful fighters. You know, all sports are great for kids, but there's something unique about wrestling that creates very tough individuals. Bob Kustra has literally snuffed out a number of kids' dreams and, and allowed them to, to sign letters of intent and basically promised them that they were going to be allowed to come here to wrestle. That's why they're coming to Boise State and just took it away, pulled the carpet right out from under their feet, no explanation, and seems to have no care in the world. 
I called President Bob Custer's office for comment and have not heard back. As of now, there's been no reversal on the decision by the school to return the program. If you'd like to hear the full interview with Misha Tate or Johnny Nunez, just head over to our website at sixonyourside.com. At Skyview, high school athletes are getting a little extra focus before they participate in sporting events. And to make it even sweeter, the students are also learning firsthand how to help their athletes on the field of play. I feel more comfortable knowing more about my athlete when they're on the field. Rusty Sullivan, who is Skyview's athletic trainer, was able to use grant money to purchase an EKG machine, which will serve two purposes. It will be a tool for Sullivan in his sports medicine classes. will also help better monitor his athlete's health. This is the unit that gets hooked up to the athlete. I get a, a physical back in the fall for, for sports, and they're cleared to play sports, and that's all it says on the physical is cleared. People in general don't think that grandpa died at 47 from a heart attack. I should let people know that. Having this piece of information gives me a lot more arrows for my quiver. According to Sullivan, new research has shown that the chance of an athlete having a cardiac event to be much higher than it was previously thought. It could be as high as 1 in 5,200, whereas before it was only 1 in 300,000. Say that there's 11 issues that might kill an athlete in a high school football field or soccer field pitch and if I can find seven or eight of them that's just an extra peace of mind. The goal for Sullivan is to eventually prevent a cardiac event in the Napa School District. The use of it is going to help with circulation and get it to go down. My goal is is to be able to eventually test all the athletes here at Skyview High School and in Nampa get the cardiologists in the valley on board and get them to help out. The goal also for Sullivan is that any time there's a positive test to get the athlete to a family doctor and eventually to a cardiologist and to figure out what the care might be for the athlete.